Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Ledomic and today I have got something special for you. That is the new update by the Hydra. That is the Lydra Hydra staking pool that is going to be launched on the Hydra DEX in this very month, the end of the November. And the Lydra liquidity pool, which can be something and can bring a new boom into the system. But remember, the insights I share are not meant to be a financial advice. So before you invest, you want to make sure to do your own investigation research before you go for any investment. With this being said, let's dive into the world of LIDAR together. I'm Lee Dominic, and this is where things make clarity. Before I share the recent update Hydra has brought, for those who are new to the Hydra, Let's take a few seconds to understand what Hydra is and what they are all about. So Hydra word is based on Greek and the Roman mythology where Hydra is a serpentine water creature. The project's logo is based on that. However, there is no creature underlying except in the logos. It's an amazing project. So let's see what it is all about. So Hydra is a public blockchain platform that was born in 2018 to address the limitations of existing technologies, notably the Ethereum, and is focused on speed, scalability, and the security. Hydra has combined the best of POS version 3 and the QTIMS fusion of Bitcoin Core with Ethereum's EVM, creating a more efficient and secure blockchain. Fast forward to today, the Hydra team has been relentless in their pursuit of improvement, identifying the challenges in the current design, and they are striving to position Hydra at the forefront of blockchain technology. Now, Hydra is introducing the groundbreaking Hydra Gone consensus mechanism. This modern connectivity layer replaces the QTEM with Polygon's engine, enhancing efficiency, security, and accessibility. Hydra Gone's key features include instant finality with true BFT, a unique exponentiating validator weight formula, a staggering two second block time up to 12 MB block size. There is permissionless ability to become a validator, full EVM support, Ethereum Web 3.0 out of the box support, and removal of the standard deviations problems in the staking. Also a real time price oracle, reduced gas cost and an advanced sticking economy. So there's a lot of things that they have improved already. The Hydra team has been hard at work for nearly a year, making significant progress with an active prototype in the development. And this represents a pivotal moment in the Hydra's journey of innovation and their improvement. Now, if we go over CoinGecko and look over Hydra, its circulating supply is about 21 million and the market cap lies at $16 million. Now, if you take a look over the history of price of Hydra since its creation, it reached its all-time high of about $50 in the April 2021. Currently, it is sitting at $0.76 in November 2023, which is this month, with 24-hour price ranges between 0 0.72 and 0 0.6. Since creation, it has been up and down. If you look over the last month, it's consistently in increasing trend, which is about 30% price decrease. That has actually caught my attention and can be credited to the new update they had recently. So here's the deal that caught my attention. Recently, exactly on November 16th, Hydra had a hard fork on its about 1500,000 block. The hard fork, as some of you guys know, is a term that is used in blockchain. As all softwares need updates, updates in the crypto are called forks and they can be soft fork or the hard fork. We will cover the difference between these two forks in some other video. So on November 16th, Hydra had an update or hard fork, which is the launch of the Lydra Hydra liquidity pool on the Hydra DEX. And this new update is featured on Blockchain Reporter and the International Business Times. Now, this new pool is a big deal for people who own Hydra and for the whole system. Lydra is like a special version of Hydra that lets you stake your coins and still easily use them. And this is exciting because it should speed up the development and make the whole network work better. The pool's launch was planned carefully and it uses different liquidity zones to make sure things stay stable by locking up some of the Hydra coins. At the beginning, there's a special deal that makes it a good idea to get Lydra. 
which might make more people want to buy Hydra. In simple terms, this launch is a big step for Hydra. It's like they have completed a major part of their plan and made Hydra more useful. Now people can stake their Hydra coins and still easily use them, making the whole system more efficient. So what exactly are the benefits Lydra is bringing for its nodes or the community? So Hydra is upgrading to become a faster and more powerful chain with practical tokenomics in the real world as part of its 2.0 plan. And they have added a feature called protocol integrated staking, which basically means that by staking your Hydra tokens, you not only earn rewards, but also contribute to the network's growth. And this encourages more people to use Hydra and it keeps the whole system running smoothly. Now looking forward, there are big plans like Hydrocon on the horizon and it's marking the next step after reaching their 2.0 goals. The Hydra community is excitedly waiting for the late November when they plan to launch even for the Lydra Hydra pools, creating more opportunities for people to get involved. Now on the International Business Times, they have mentioned tips on how to use Lydra to leverage your rewards. So Lydra Hydra's liquidity pool launch is a big deal and it is bringing cool benefits for the Hydra holders. With this liquid staking system, you can stake your Hydra tokens and still use them however you want. It works by creating Lydra tokens based on your staked Hydra at a one by one ratio. Now what's special about Lydra is that it's directly built into the blockchain and it is making it super secure and easy to use. Unlike other liquid staking options like the Lido, which depends on different layers of trust in decentralization finance, Lydra is integrated into the protocol and this reduces the risks. Now, Lydra is opening up exciting possibilities like using it for leverage taking. Basically, you can use Lydra as a kind of security deposit to get more Hydra and stake even more and this increases your rewards. Some smart strategies can involve doubling your earnings without risk of losing your assets. You can check this out by going over their website and opening up the stake calculator. The more Hydra you stake, the more you get the rewards. For example, if you stake in 10,000 Hydra, you get about $7 daily, which by the end of one year, is about 34% off your initial staking cost. Now you can use different tactics to make more money and protect yourself from market risk. For instance, you can sell Lydra for stable coins and this can help you guard against a potential decrease in Lydra's price. This is like betting that Lydra will go down while betting that the stable coin will go up. The Lydra Hydra exchange rate cannot go above one by one ratio because Lydra's value is tied to Hydra. If the rate goes too high, it creates a chance for instant profit through arbitrage, which is not going to happen. So they have set the ratio to about one to one. So in summary, using Lydra, one can double the working capital, uh, delta neutral yield farming strategy. Uh, you can uh, have the ability to hedge against market moves. You can have leveraged staking. You can have leveraged trading. You can yield arbitrage strategies and you can use the Lydra Hydra trading. And there's a lot to study and ponder, but for those who are looking just on the rewards, earlier they have four layers that you can get profit from stacking on another. Now with Lydra, which is the fifth layer, more benefits can be achieved. And this is summarized by the five layers of reward in the form of pyramid that they have shown over here. Now in simple terms, liquid staking is a cool new way to use your Hydra cryptocurrency. When you stake your Hydra, usually it's locked up and you can't use it for other things. But with liquid staking, you can stake your Hydra and at the same time have the flexibility to use it for different purposes. Now, here's how it works. When you stake your Hydra by giving it to a super staker, the system gives you an equivalent amount of Lydra in return. Now you can think of Lydra like a special version of Hydra that you can use more freely. You can take this Lydra and move it around, you can trade it or do whatever you want without affecting your staking rewards. Now, if you want to use your staked Hydra, you can borrow Lydra from the system by collateralizing it with your staked Hydra. It's like taking a loan against your staked assets. But here's the cool part. As long as you have the same amount of Lydra back in your wallet, you can redeem your staked Hydra at any time. The system, uh, also ensures that one Lydra is always backed by the one Hydra, 
making it super easy to turn your stacked assets into a usable and risk-free form. If you never move your Lydra around, the process of unstaking is automatic and seamless. So you get the benefits of staking without losing the flexibility to use your crypto when you need it. And that's liquid staking in a nutshell. And here's some more info about the Hydra. They are decentralized blockchain and they have over 900 nodes that are spread globally across six countries, ensuring that the network is redundant, resilient against local risk and compliant with the country specific restrictions. And the Hydra's community has been its greatest strength with active engagement and participation since the day one. They're consistently attracting new members even during the market downturns through events and activities. Since their start, they have an active growing community as shown by this graph as well. Now you can also check out their team, which is Doxed. Nicola Alexandrox, if I spell that right, uh, is the CEO and the co-founder. And their project has different other things like the desktop client, including the Windows, the Linux, or the iOS. They're available on all programs. They also have an online web wallet and also a wallet that you could download either as Chrome extension if you are a Chrome user or on your phones, whether it is Android or an iOS. They also have linked to their white paper, documentation and guides and the blog channel where you can get more updates and insights about the whole project. You can also interact on social media channels, including the Twitter, where they share latest information and the Telegram channels where you can get updates and you can also interact with the community members. All in all, they have put in a lot of work over the past years. Go ahead and follow them on the social media channels and let me know what are your thoughts about this project in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe so the YouTube algorithm knows to show you more such videos about latest updates and innovations in the crypto. Till then, stay blessed and stay tuned.